Where was Elrond when the goblins, foul and menacing, threatened our ancestral halls? Where was Elrond when the wild men of Enedwaith and Dunland, like the shadows of the night, assailed our caravans with impunity? Is this the elven lord who dares to lay claim to the mantle of leadership? His path is fraught with peril, for under his stewardship we would be doomed to witness the slow unraveling of our legacy, a fate more terrible than death. No, my noble lords, it was not Elrond who led us to triumph against the relentless hordes of Moria, nor was it his hand that skillfully brokered an alliance with the dwarves of khazad bestowing upon us the precious gift of Mithril. And it shall not be Elrond who shall guide us in our darkest hour against the ominous tide surging from the southern realms. Our beloved prince Myrnil not only restored the ancient boundaries of Eregion, but has carved out a new dominion, a kingdom that shall stretch from the resplendent white tower of Elosterion in the west to the enduring doors of Durin in the east. Soon our realm shall stand as one, our valiant warriors united in steadfast resolve. And Elrond? What of him? He would, in his seclusion within the elven halls of Imladris, let our people languish and wither like forgotten leaves in the chill of winter. We simply cannot permit this fate to befall us. Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of our Nolder of Eregion campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer. First and foremost, I want to give a big thanks to everyone that has been giving me facial hair growing tips. <laughs> I do appreciate it very much. It seems I really went on a long ramble in the previous episode about my patchy ass beard. Uh, so thank you for all your advice. I will take it to heart and I will report back to you in like half a year to tell you what worked and what hasn't worked. There has also been a couple comments asking me for either a double episode or a longer episode than usual. I typically stick to like somewhere between an hour to an hour and ten minutes because I don't want to make the episodes too long. But some people just can't seem to get enough and, you know, I, I understand that. I too sometimes struggle ending an episode because I want to keep playing. So I'll strike you guys a deal just to make sure that, you know, it's actually what you guys want. Um, so let's say episode... 10 or 11, depending on timing, etc., uh, will be a bit of a longer episode. And if this video gets, let's say, 400 likes, then I'll make it like an hour and a half. If this video gets 500 likes, let's put it at that, then uh, I'll try to go for like a two-hour recording session. So if that sounds good to you, then, well, you know what to do. If that doesn't sound good to you, then, I don't know, go ahead and dislike the video or whatever. All right, so... Last episode, we captured some more territory from Enedwaith, namely Karas, Nernaled, and Suduri. We also bought Thabad, which has now been renamed Belegiant, from uh, the Dunedain for a fair price. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. We had some battles with the Dunedain, uh, sorry, not the Dunedain, Dunland as well, but nothing crazy to report there. Um, and now we're kind of torn, which way do we expand to, like we're still at war with both Enedwight and Dunland, and preferably I'd finish them both off, but that does put me very close, well, first of all, it's very difficult, and that also puts me very close to Isengard. I'm not too scared of Isengard, especially if I reach them now, because they're still fighting Rohan, they'd be much scarier once they finish off Rohan, because then they're no longer split, but... You know, I'm running a little bit low on troops, but then again, buying Belegiant and getting a buttload of cell swords, that has helped quite a bit, I must say. That has made me a lot more confident. For example, to march on Baradvin. This army really is nothing special, and with the help of these four cell swords and one general, that's all I really need, it wouldn't be too hard to win that. So, I think we're gonna try and do just that. So, I think I'll take Myrnil. I'd love to take some archers as well. I want to retrain some of them as well, but that might prove to be difficult. Um, let's get the, the biggest units, because I want to get the other ones retrained. And then Myrnil will move out in this direction. Just making sure they have movement. Yep. Uh, we might have to kill him first. If I could, I'd love to bring Ecthelion along as well, but then public order is a bit of an issue. If I put it on low... Ah, it's actually fine then. Can Dunlarak hold on its own? It can. And if need be, I can pull back Ectelion rather quickly. He's very fast. 
It's just if I bring Ecthelion along, then I'll have much less casualties from my normal troops. Like, having those two generals fight together is a little bit cheesy, I know. I want to avoid it later on in the campaign. But it does help immensely. Uh, just want to make sure that we have enough movement range. So, just going to have him move first. Have the cell swords join in, and then these guys will fight as reinforcements. Otherwise I'll run out of... Oh, it doesn't work like that. Uh, hang on a moment. Should we have to bring an Ecthelion? Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, sorry, my nail. And then these guys will have them join later in. I don't need the archers per se. Win this battle, and then I think we can march on to Baradvin. Of course, we're also going to move on to Argond. Londair. And then at that point, we're quite close, if not at that point, where I can trigger the Doomstack. But I will have the entire Guatho River, which is going to boost my trade immensely. Uh, do I have trade rights with Gondor? Because then I can trade along the coastline with Gondor. No, not yet. So I definitely want my diplomat that's yes. currently at Emin Muil to... Have we talked to Rohan? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Rohan, Rohan, Rohan. Yes. To go talk to Gondor. Yes. To get some trade rights. Without question. Okay. Tomorrow's journey planned out. And let's do this battle now before I forget. I am quite clumsy. Make a save. And let's start this beautiful Sunday recording with a pretty fun battle. Outnumbered two to one, but they have very poopy units, so I don't think this will be too difficult. Okie doke. Look at all these cell swords in action. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> the cell sword cloning technology has reached peak level. All right, but I want to keep him in reserve. I want to keep these guys fresh, you know. But I will. I will use them if I have to. I don't want to be so cheesy that I just only rely on other oh, hiding on my archers and my calf. This is how I used to play Rome Total War. I'd made like a V shape with my Hastadi, and then they throw that uh, pillar, pilum, one pilum, two pilla. It was fantastic. <laughs> so much fun. It would always work. Like it, it did work against every faction. But I guess Rome Two wasn't exactly the or Rome One. Sorry, the most balanced game. Honestly, who needs balance when you can have fun? That's an impressive charge. If a little bit suicidal. I really thought we could have an easy kill on a general, but... I suppose not. We killed 16% in that one charge. Alright, kill those Axemen, because they're armor-piercing. They're so armor-piercing, they don't believe in armor themselves. They're like, why do we need armor? We pierce it ourselves so easily. Surely we don't need it. Yeah, well, you might want to reconsider me. Okay. Wait, seriously? You're shaking. You're not even there. I mean, it's cold. I guess that might explain the shaking. Kaboom. I think that's the general, right? Is it not? No, apparently it's not. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, like I said before starting this battle, today is a quite beautiful Sunday. It's October 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. But it's actually quite nice out. So I was, I was debating, like, do I go for a run first and then record a video? Do I do the video first? And then it started raining a little bit, so I was like, okay, I'll do the video first. So, But now that I've started recording, it's just super sunny and no... any sign of rain at all. So now I feel kind of silly. But... Belgian weather, man, it's so unpredictable. Alright. Hey, didn't even mean to kill him. Enemy yeah, general is a piece of trash. Look at him, look at him run! Enadwyth. I have a hard time with Enadwyth. Like, either I completely underestimate him or I completely overestimate him. There's no in between. I never estimate them. It's always over or under. I wonder why, I wonder how. But it just always happens. Alright, pricks. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, they came back. You still here? Seriously? I wish I could go, like, platinum experience beyond gold. Imagine if there was no cap on XP. These guys would be poof, more experienced than Glorfindel himself. Oh, are these pricks shooting me? No, 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 no. Oh, man, don't kill my soul swords. I was doing so well to keep him alive. Bastards. 
I lost eight cell swords because of that. Eight! Those eight cell swords, they're gonna there's gonna be a moment later on in the campaign where I need eight cell swords. And I'm like, damn, I'm eight cell swords short. Damn, that's a tongue twisted. Eight cell swords short. Alright. Uh, maybe we'll heal some of them. Maybe I won't be eight short. Uh, no, I very much will be eight short. Damn it! Right. Bye. I feel like Ecthelio might even have enough movement range to like fight, go back to govern, fight, go back to govern. Like it's just a hobby he has on this. Yeah, he very much can do that. And then he can make it all the way to Battle Vin if need be. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Um, oh, yeah, let's put him right next to each other just so they don't get attacked separately. That would be annoying. Um, so next time we'll move towards Baradvin. I always struggle with this region. Like, I know Gondor like the back of my hand, but Dunland is such a such a nothing burger. I always forget about it. Any retraining to be done here? Uh, yeah, we're retraining them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I'm training new guys at Anon and Rod, right? Yes. Oh, we're actually reaching a point where I'm not completely struggling with troops. I will be moving my capital to Belegiant at some point. People have very much pointed out that it's right in the center of our realm. So that would be most interesting. But uh, I want to take Argon first. Don't know why. My OCD brain, I guess. I don't have OCD. I know people like to pretend they have OCD. And they're like, oh no, I want everything to be in order. I must have OCD. No, you don't. You're just a normal person. OCD is a lot more extreme than that. That's frustrating. Not wholly unexpected, I suppose. We must. Oh no, and they got boats. No, oh, they're gonna sing my long ships. No. <laughs> uh, time to build a proper port and build some proper ships. But I might have to kidnap Curden for that. We'll see. All right, I'm making big money. Uh, is this army any good? Oh, really? Mate, I have two generals, and one of them is Kayatan, who some people have started comparing to Avalon from our Darwinian campaign, who's also a horse archer unit. But for those of you who watched the Dominion campaign, they will know how Avalon's fate ended. It was not pretty. For those of you who don't know, Avalon died charging a ballista crew. He literally died charging against the ballista crew, yeah. Oh, no. you. Let's pop you out, see if there's any mercenaries. I'm still going to check mercenaries. And build some stuff. If I have to go in and kill them, then I will. Oh, there goes my standard bodyguard. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Londair. Pretty small garrison. Uh, Foresters of Haleth. Interesting. Uh, unit I don't really know that well. It might be a new unit. Okay. You will lay siege to Argont. That's actually a pretty beefy army. I do have the calf coming in to help. The Killing the general will be crucial, because then the ruffians, that morale is yeah, really bad, so we'll have to do it through morale. The cell swords will help. Those privateer axemen are a good counter to cell swords, because they're piercing. Hmm. Well, at least the good part is they'll sally out, so we don't have to wait. Okay, lots of buildings being built. Ostenoldor, Hall of Song. Um, well, I want to improve my population growth, so I guess Public Fountain is a cheap and quick way to get that. Corvillishar got the Artist Studio, so culture is improving. It's quite good, actually. I'll get a Hall of Song there as well. Dunlarak, the Master Builder's Hall, which I think is... No, I was about to say the highest tier, but that is one tier higher. Shall we just get that one right away, and then I no longer have to worry about it? Or I could try and get the Noldo... Oh, no, I need culture first. Let's just get a quick artist studio before I upgrade to the Builder's Guild house. Byrick got the artist studio, good, I was smarter there. Let's go for the grain exchange, maybe? Mm, nah, I don't need money that much. I'll get the Master Builder's Hall. And then Karas Nernaled, yes, they got dirt paths, that's perfect. I want to get this entire region, just infrastructure, roads and buildings and trade and... I'm going to make so much money from these poor hobbits because they have no idea what an economy is. I'm just going to exploit them. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I guess an artist studio for the culture, right? Yep. Okie do. Let's check the recruitment reports. Sudurian extra spy. That's quite helpful. Though he is locked in a siege now. 
We've got some extra troops in an on and rod and some retraining in Austin Ethel. So that, if I add those up, is actually going to lead to a full regiment of dwarfs, armed and filthy, as Gimli puts it so eloquently. Do I need my spy in non rod? No, not anymore. I'd rather have you in Dondrak. Where culture is, yeah, problematic. Okay, so we're going to set it out at Sudori. I don't want Hazard to bother me. In fact, the sooner I can move on Londair, the better. So, Kalamithor. I would love to actually send you south. I'm not worried about them attacking Karaz Nernalet, not anymore. I'd love to get some more generals to the front. But alas, I can't train any. Uh, right, let's sally out. Kiriatan and Hurtasi, oh my god, it's just a, a dream team. The only units I'm a little bit worried about are the Angren Raiders. River Spearmen, if I can hammer an anvil, then no threat. The Grayfler Axemen I can trample, not a problem. Alright, let's jump in, get rid of the siege. If I can pick up some mercenaries, I will look towards Londair. Or perhaps I can move... Well, if I win at both Baradvin and Argont, I can move these troops from Baratheon towards Londair. Take that. And I think once we take Londair, we'll give Enadwaith some peace and then push more inland. Because otherwise I'm going to get too exposed to Dunland. So I guess I should already start looking towards Dunyard. Alright, first things first. Put an end to this evil. We must okay. Turn of we will act and halt this turn of events. Uh, now farm and pike, when you're going to sit here and you can trigger those towers if you want. I'm just going to move out. They're going to pull back and I'm just going to shoot them and it's going to be glorious. Because they lack the range. I think I prefer to shoot the river spearmen, actually. Okay, stand still and shoot. See, because I'm shooting in the back, they don't really get the bonus from their shields. And their armor is not that impressive. Can you imagine? And a Dwaythrim with shitty armor. <laughs> That's new. Alright. This is very much like just still warming up the campaign, mind you. Because you might be thinking, oh, no, this entire campaign is just going to be... Is he bullying Dunland and other Wildman poopy factions? No, no, no. That's not the case. That is not the case. Shoot the Angren Raiders. We'll charge the Grave Flanaxman. But we're warming up. We're gathering some territory. You know, we're getting stronger. And once we have enough manpower, there will be the Kinslaying first and foremost. Alright. They can't chuck their javelins like that. Because they'll hit their own guys. Right? Padme face? Oh no. Apparently they can launch them pretty accurately. Alright, you guys hang in there, okay? Just a little bit longer. I'm going to try and charge our general. Okay. Don't move now, don't move now, you asshole. Oh, I still catch him. I drive by hit him, but that wasn't enough. Oh, General, don't die. Kiryatan, don't get Avalind. Oh, this battle's actually tougher than I expected. Alright, let's get rid of these Grateful Axemen real quick, because they're kind of scaring me. I'm scared of those Javelins, man. I need to give them respect. Okay. Oh, they're running back. Okay, that's very, very nice of you. Thank you. They're buggering off. Good. My general, all right. Is he safe? Where is he? I think he's over here. Yeah, that's him right here. No, that's not him. Is it this guy? Okay, I don't actually see where he is, but I didn't get the message, nor did I get uh, a warning from the announcer guy, so I'm just going to assume he's fine. Oh, crap. Ooh, they hit my calf. These angry raiders are good, like... I don't know, this might be me, but I feel like they chuck fast. I don't know if there's a speed setting for javelin throwers, but sometimes it feels like they take a lot longer to throw. And these guys, they... I don't know. I, I'm probably just talking out of my ass right now, as I often do. It just feels like they don't need to wind up that long. Like they just get in there, chuck, get the job done, you know, as it should be. Alright, good. That was a little bit scary, a little bit hairy, but came out on top. And the Siege of Suduri has been lifted, and we killed more than enough of them. The 
We only lost general units, so not great for the kill death ratio, which I am desperately trying to boost, but. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Alright. Goodbye. Thanks for wasting my time, buddy. They're both alive, right? I really felt like Cartassian died. But he's good. And people like me. Hey! I don't know why. Is it because I'm kicking Wildman ass? I'm just happy to be liked. Ugh. I'm a very insecure person deep down inside, it turns out. Ah, uh, yes. Another therapy session of the Violin Conquered. Uh, Alright, if I press the end turn, I will probably get attacked at Argond. Don't think we'll get attacked at Baradvin. I'm just too strong for that. I could cheese them a bit and pull out some troops as reinforcements. Yeah, I will be too dumb to realize, but... Ah. Well, I'll actually take that and the boat. And the boat. Let's block the port. Ah, information. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, okay, now, um, I think we can press the end turn. I know, I know, I need to get some watchtowers as well. I did promise that. Like the wind! Like the wind. We will need, that one. need to make sure I can make it back, but I want to really get one on the crossing. Like the yeah, that's so much nicer already. I could also move north to take Metric. It actually has a tiny garrison. So once I take Argon, that maybe I should pull some troops there. It'd be a relatively easy grab, and it's a pretty decent settlement. It has potential. In terms of trade, it's a very good settlement, I think. Oh, we'll see. Uh, one thing at a time, of course. Uh, yeah, these troops of Bayrig, they'll move towards Dunlarak. Once I beat them at Baradvin, I might pull Ecthelion to take an army towards Dunyard. There's also settlements down here somewhere. It's still just like min-maxing. I need to do a lot of stuff with very little troops. I don't know how I do it without the uh, cell sword input. That really, really helped a lot. I don't want to exploit it as a strategy though. It was a nice side effect, but I'm not going to start buying. No, oh, it's unex. Well, not unexpected, but expected and annoying. I'm not going to start buying settlements like crazy just because you know it's pretty cheesy. And if I know I'm going to use that to exploit to get extra garrison units, that's just a bit lame. They made a big mistake there, because I can now attack you at Suduri and then maybe attack that army right outside Londair and take Londair with relative ease. Ah, no sally out, interesting. And I've reached the falls of Rauros and I'm on hen with my diplomat. Your Glorious. Well, let us move you towards yes, Anorian. Anon and Arad got the Master's Builders. Good, now we can start properly expanding and I think we'll start with roads. Expensive, but worth it, unless the mining mm, the mining network is pretty good. Well, let's take a peek. Trade, 124. With roads, oops, it'd be 271. But of course, if I get that, it also boosts the revenue of Brunos, for example. But it doesn't show up. But I still think mines are better here. And then I accidentally closed the window, so now I need to go through it manually like a chump. Oh, uh, is he? Bregost, no. I can retrain a Bregost. No, no, can't. Belegiant. I could get a port there. Money is becoming a bit of an issue. Not much. Ah, and they have taken Metraith. Okay, not a big deal. Mm, oh, I need to make some money, so I'm not going to go for the Master Builder. So I think I'll go for the Grain Exchange, because Belegiant's already making a lot of money, I think, from trade. 727. 803, yeah, that's worth it, because it's very, very cheap. So no Sally out at Baradvin, okay, but I was expecting one at Argon, but that's fine, because then I can take Argon with fewer casualties if I can starve them out first. Could even get these reinforcements in, but I'm going to pull them towards Suduri. Okay, I can kill them with just Kiryatan. I can kill those with just Kiryatan. And then I can take Londair pretty easily, possibly Baradvin at the same time. But I... I kind of want to make sure that I don't trigger the Doomstack. So, let me just double, triple check. They're at 5. If I take both those elements, they're at 3 and they get a double, triple Doomstack. Hmm. <laughs> Frustrating. Hmm. <laughs> Where does that Doomstack spawn? Probably around here. So I think I'll take Baradvin, but I'll wait with Londair. 
until I have more troops in this area to do a joint task force mega attack. Makes sense to me. Take the fort. Um, yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Can I trade anything at Ostinithil? No. Can I retrade anything? No. Can I almost get archers? Yes. So then I'll send home one unit of archers to get retrained. Uh, this one, please. No, I always need to go past Bayerik, so once I upgrade my roads, we should be able to make it in one turn. Uh, Belegiant. I'm going to move these sellswords here to save some money. That's uh, 380 coins per turn. That is quite massive. Okay. Alright. I'll quickly do this battle off screen because it's not going to be the most interesting one. I'll just get back to you with the result so I can record a little bit longer. Uh, I mean, we all know how this is going to go. Alright, there we have it. I tried to get a good result for the uh, kill death ratio, and uh, yeah, that's quite good. That's going to boost the results a bit. And there we go. Just in case you missed it, because I do refer to it a lot, um, Parker McCursey in the comment section is keeping track of the kill death ratio for every episode and the campaign as a whole. So thank you very much, Parker, for doing that. Uh, I always like, and it's not something I strive for, it's like, oh, I need to finish this campaign with a KD of at least this or that number. But I don't know, it's nice to see it. It's nice to get those results. Right, I'm just going to pop down the tower here because it makes me feel nice. I want to get this entire section towered off at some point. But... So we won't push to Londair yet. Do I have enough? Oops. If only I could. I got two rams. Uh, is that enough? I could starve them out. No need for me to be greedy. I will, however, move my diplomat to do some espionage. Oh, there's a, some kind of meeting going on over here. Because if I remember correctly, Dunland and Enedwaith are also at war still, right? Yeah. They really should just put their troubles aside and focus on me, but... Well, not one to complain. Because I want to take Dunyard and then also... Herot. That would be... Like, Dunyard would be a very nice settlement to defend. So I think what I'll do is pull Ecthelion back. I don't need Ecthelion, per se. Uh, because... It's going to be either a sally out or a siege fight. If it's a sally out, then Ecthelion will be useful, I guess. If it's going to turn into a siege fight, then I really don't need him. So I'd rather have him already lead a different attack. If I can get him alongside the other dwarves... Oh, you really are slow. To lead an attack... Yeah, we'll wait a turn then. Oops. You can go back to Thunderack. Um, then he can take those armies and march towards either Herot or Dunyad. Hopefully these guys will have already cleared the differences. And then it's just nicer to get my realm centered and it's just easier to, you know, not get attacked from all sides and get myself in trouble. I need to get my boat to safety. So I guess I'll save you here. Uh, anywhere else I need to be doing anything? I don't think so. Except my diplomat, who I keep forgetting about. No, I actually didn't forget about it. Nice. Good going, Izzy. You're improving. You're actually getting good at the game. Okay. Our economy will bounce back. We just had a couple turns where we needed to invest in quite a few buildings. Uh, I spend a lot of money on Belegiant, of course, so... That won't be happening every turn. I'm going to try to avoid buying settlements, but sometimes it's just... Oh, come on, mate. Get off it. It's so annoying that I have to like skirt around the Doomstack because I could finish off Enidwaith just like that if I wanted to, but the Doomstack, I just need to be like, Grr. need to be wary of it, even though the Doomstack is not that scary, but I just need to be able to prepare for it, you know, hit them where it hurts. And with only Kiryat on the man can solo some armies, but not all of them, I'm afraid. All right, get these dwarves. I oh, still can't reach down the rack. I'll have to go through Bayrik for. I'm gonna risk it. These guys haven't moved at all, so. All right, Mr. Spy. Yeah, you stay in Dondarak. New mission. Talk to Gondor for a military unit. Yes. So my capital lost in Ethel again, right? Because the uh, military units, once you get them, they always spawn at your capital. Oh. Uh, it seems my. 
Council of Nobles has some outdated information. Damn, Gondor is falling fast. It is turn 40, but still. Have they lost... Oh, they've lost both as Gilead's. That's not good. Alright. Hello, Minas Tirith. I know you have bigger issues to worry about, but... You want to trade? Thank you. That should open up some trade routes. Are there any trade routes visible? Yeah, those green lines are uh, my trade routes. And... Oh, they're not going to go. There's nothing going to go on there. What? Oh, perhaps it takes a turn. Numeramar. What the hell are Numeramar? Are those boats? Wait, what the hell's in. Ships ready. So, 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 is it my capital? What? Where did I get boats? What? What? Okay, I guess. Actually. That's not too frustrating because I can hopefully block the crossing and stop all this annoying shenanigans. If I sit them here, I think they can't attack me. Alright, we'll deal with them in a moment because uh, I actually can get these reinforcements in now. I hope that will lead to less attacks. I want to have them fight there. Yeah, moment, moment, moment. Give me some time. Alright, oh shit, more stuff built. Austin Ethel got the blacksmith. I'd love to get the Great Roads, because look at all this trade, man. But I think we're going to go for... Yeah, I want the upgraded barracks. So I need a Hall of Culture and a Blacksmith. I have the Blacksmith. Hall of Culture, does that come after the Hall of Music? Yes. So now we upgrade that tier. Okay. Uh, I was sending over some arches, right? Yes. Hopefully I can retrain them. 619. Yeah, that's a proper retrain. And then they'll also be decked out with the new armor that we got, so that's quite good. Gor Willishar. I'd love to get an older guard hall, but it's pretty expensive. But the culture is good, though. It would allow me to get Amanyar and Lindar units. Ah, it's so expensive, though. I think I'll get a leather tanner. I know, it sounds counterintuitive, but I need to spread my money a bit better now. So, like, grain exchanges, those are cheap and good. Kairos Nandlet, grain exchange as well. Suduri, dirt paths. Wonderful. Um, what do I want there? Artist studio? The culture is going quite fast, thanks to the spy. So I think I'll get some public fountains for the growth. So I can make it a, mm, easier to defend settlement at some point. Alright, Barad Vin's getting some reinforcements. So they might try something. So I'm going to pull back Ecthelion to join Myrnil. I'm still waiting for reinforcements to arrive here, so it's not a biggie. How's the public order? Is it fine without the cell swords? No. Still need to wait a bit. That's fine. We'll get those guys retrained. I do have the Sons of the Fallen here, which I will move fort per fort, because they're quite expensive. That's the Spy. How about you sit in Dunderak as well? Argon's three more turns. Anything else? Don't think so. No, still waiting. How is Under Towers looking in terms of growth? Oh, it's gonna take forever. I need to get a governor in there. ASAP. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I'll just do this battle. I'll also do it off camera. That will allow me a lot more time to record. Uh, I'll just do it like that, even though we're not gonna send in the Amanyar. Actually, no, we're going to attack with these guys first, because then I get the towers. Not that the towers do anything, but I don't know, I like the safety of the walls. As a backup plan. Alright, I'll get back to you with the result. And there we go. Pretty good again for the kill death ratio. We're getting there, we're building it up again, nice. Okie doke. Alright, bugger off, mate. Now you guys join as reinforcements, and hopefully that's enough to not have to deal with any annoyingness. So there's a crossing here and a crossing there. Right? Uh, let's just sail you away for a moment. Oh no, wait. Is there three crossings? I don't know, because it's taken the boat into account. So this, this here is crossing. So this guy shouldn't be able to reach us, right? Or can he? Is this another tile? Oh, now he can reach me. It's very finicky. I don't think he can reach me now, so hopefully that's enough of a blockade 
for them to leave me alone. But at Vin, we might see some trouble there. They have been losing some troops too to uh, starvation, so that's good. And we are pulling in reinforcements at Dondarak to launch another offensive on Dundant. I'm just waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. But our economy is improving, our settlements are growing, so, yeah. It's all good, and I am getting more troops, so. I'm so happy I don't have to worry about these provinces. Like, they're just bringing in money, they're not costing me anything, it's just fun times. Okay, Argond, three more turns. Yeah, then I think we can press the end turn. Extra boat over there, right, right, right. Forgot about them. I guess I could pull them back to reinforce the... What's it called? Numerastar? There was something that sounded Numenorian, but that it isn't because it's Elvish, so... But I guess the word Numenor is Elvish, right? How am I making things... I might be making things up. Wouldn't be the first time. And I know, this faction is fan fiction, so I can say whatever the hell I want, but it doesn't exactly work like that. Block the port of Baradvin. I can do that. But then I lose out on the blockade. What do I get? What's my reward? A military unit. Oh, a military unit is worth a lot. Even if it's an extra boat, I will take that. Right, two more turns, two more turns. And they're just waiting, so... Okay. Ah. Seems they are preparing to attack me, which is perfect. Because then I can launch a counterattack once we beat them back. So these elven archers are retrained, so we'll pull them back to the front. We can't have everyone in there, unfortunately. But we will have enough troops there. See, I could attack Kareal, kill them, hope that they join. Otherwise, I have to redo the siege. That would be annoying if they pull back. I don't think they will pull back. And then I can drag Ixthelion back towards Dunlarag in time. Keep Myrnel in Baradvin. And then Ixthelion can lead the attack on Herod and Dunayad. Or Myrnel can join in and take Herod from some troops from Baradvin. That could work. Um, let's see. Construction. Public fountain in Ostanolor. Good. One turn where I don't have to spend too much money. I guess we've got a leather tanner there. Brings in some, oh, so my corruption is really bad, so maybe the armory for the law bonus. Unless... Hall of Music also gives a law bonus. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Then. Uh, my economy is stagnating. Just a wee bit. Is this the repaired bridge of Tharbad? Oh yeah, trade and troops can now pass through here far easier and the city of Tharbad will shine anew. Oh, okay, so they have repaired it. Good. Because some people were worried that I had bought it a bit too soon from um, the Dunedain. I have a master merchant. Should, should I not be able to train a merchant then? No. I guess we just don't have access to it. I thought we'd be able to, but I guess not. Alright. Your, Your will, my lord. Alright, is there anything else I need to be doing? Well, yeah, I can attack here. Saduri is not on the siege. Surprising. I don't know what this guy is trying to achieve. I guess I am blocking him. I'm going to move you past the port. I want you to join this guy's fleet. Because you have three stars, mate. Do you have three stars? What? Why are you that good? You lost one battle and you got three stars out of that? Okay. Alright, I think we'll attack Heral, because then I can take Baradvin and I can send the Ktharion home in time for the inevitable Dundarak fight. I can even sally out and get rid of these pricks. This is a very poopy army. Then I can take Herald, which is, I think, their last castle. Unless they got one more castle down here. Yeah, no, that seems like a good idea. A big battle. They're not pulling back. Perfect. This should be pretty easy. Although they do have a lot of javelin boys. Yeah, that they do. Though I think McTherion will be less impressed by them. And the Grey Flood Raiders, unlike the Angren Raiders, don't have armor piercing javelins. These guys will have armor piercing. No, they don't actually. Ah, interesting. So the Angren Raiders are just much better because they have armor piercing javelins. Is that an oversight? That seems like an oversight. That these guys are 
significant. Like, I'm not scared of non armor piercing javelins because Ichthelion, with his massive armor, just laughs it off. The armor piercing, though, mm, they scare me. These guys, not so much. So, I don't know. It seems odd in terms of balancing, but might be me. This army is nothing. It's a complete nothing burger. Like, sure, the other guildsmen are armor piercing, but there's only, what, 60 of them? So, can't say 80. Can't say that's too scary. Alright, well, this will be a fun fight, and we should be able to win it. I'm not worried about that. I just want to win it with as few casualties as possible. And it should lead to us capturing Barad Vin, which will be the last Enderdwight settlement we take for a little bit, unfortunately. At the very least, until we have Donnant on the ropes. Then we can see to uh, take out their Doomstacks one by one and finish off the factions. And that is going to buy me a lot of territory and a lot of breathing room, which is two things I desperately need. Uh, yeah, let's jump in. Fight to the end. Oh no. The woodland. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I really didn't pay any attention to where they'll be spawning from, but... Well, we'll just deal with the first army first, and then the reinforcements afterwards. Farm and Pikeman, you had very much a garrison unit, so, yeah, just chill. Alright, fire away. Um, <laughs> there over yonder. Ooh, we're a little aggressive bunch, aren't ya? Aren't ya, ya grief lot pricks? Let's go. Give him a warm northern welcome. Welcome, it's me, your new emperor. No, no, I'm not that vain. High Prince will suffice for now until we get the empire reformed. Like Thelion, I'm not going to be too greedy. As much as I want to be. Now, cell swords, they are not elvish, but they fight well enough. I really want to give them a warm welcome. I need to finish them off sooner rather than later. I don't want to fight both armies at the same time. That would be a little bit finicky. Honestly, I'm mostly scared of the Angren Raiders, because there's so many in that armor piercing. I'm telling you, the Greyfell Raiders really don't scare me. But these guys, I fear them. They don't even get the chuck. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chucks wood? Not many. Right. Pull out! Pull out, Ecthelion! Come on! Always pull out. Unless... well, never mind. <laughs> That's another line of thinking that Izzy will never finish. And rightfully so. Guys, I'm telling you to focus on the Angren Raiders. They're gonna chuck javelins on Thingamabob. Myrnil. We don't want that. <laughs> Get obliterated, prick. I think Myrnil, even with armor piercing, I think he'll be fine. I don't think he really cares all that much. Yeah, no, nah, he's not impressed. There's armor and then there's armor, you know. You can pierce some cell sword chain mail or whatever. Like, okay, fine, I get that. You're not piercing Noldren steel. Alright, don't let him keep throwing javelins though, that would just be bad manners. I do not condone bad manners. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, better run. Alright, I'm starting to lose track of who's running and who's still here. It seems everyone's running now. Okay, those reinforcements are coming in incredibly fast. So I will turn them around. Get the farmers. Alright. Ecthelion. I know, I know. I need you to run them down, but they'll be back for round two. In the meantime, we need to focus on Fossa and his men. The more I can run down, though, the less I need to worry about later on. That much is true. Only half the enemy force remains. Ah, see, they came back. They always come back. Always gotta kill them thrice. They're like zombies. Aim for the head. Double tap. Destroy the brain. River archers. At least they're not river dancers. Michael Flatley, you are not. Alright. I'll let these guys scurry around a little bit. Uh, Myrnil, 
These guys are your responsibility now. Finish them off. Exterion, I have a new job for you. Uh, we might as well move in the cell swords. I haven't really used them at all. They can help run down those fools. Alright. The river archers came in a bit early, it seems. They got very enthusiastic, and that has backfired massively. Alright, toot toot to horn for good luck. Look at these cell swords. They do look pretty cool. I love where that armor is just like a mix and match of whatever. I mean, it's obviously a kit bash unit, but... Honestly, it makes sense for the type of unit they represent. <laughs> Get obliterated, mate. Uh, pull out. You okay, my Adnil? Yeah, you're fine. I know, I know. Some guys are throwing javelins, and that's not very nice of them. This is a big fight, mind you, so I don't mind taking some casualties. Kill death ratio can still be worthwhile. Alright, don't be too aggressive, you guys. Stick with the pack. Make sure we kill all of them. Or, well, as many of them as we need. Ah, the uh, that's probably and just the captain. That is just El Capitan. Get those river elders. They're elders, how hard can they be to kill? If we wait long enough, they'll be dead. No, stop that, in the name of your lord. Your new lord, mind you. Uh, Ecthalion, I need you back here. Alright, uh, I'm going to send in my Lindner Bowman to help run down the enemy, because they are faster than cell swords. Okay, the Erin Vaughan Woodsmen are facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's the kind of opposition we're facing in the war for Donington and Edwife. I mean... I guess they're trying their hardest. Which did even sell? Oh, those Elder Guildsmen! Are they? They are armor-piercing. Crap, I need to give them more respect. Alright, we'll charge the Edin Vaughan Woodsmen, hopefully free up the cell swords. So they go after the Elder Guildsmen. Yeah, that uh, unit has been decimated. Hmm, okay, it seems I grossly underestimated. Froka Friska, whatever his name, Frisky Frisco. I have underestimated him. Dejami Nobo chucking up javelins, mind you. So if you could just kindly roll over and perish, that would be much appreciated. Alright, gather up, ready for the charge. Ooh, these cell swords are dropping. That they are. Alright, if you're not doing anything, get to the front line, mate. This is a battle very much to take a settlement, so, you know, let's get on it. Very good charge. Noble Knights of Eregion, obliterate these illiterate fools. Let them swim with the fishes. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay. They just kind of sacrifice themselves. It's just the general and one other guy. My loyal banner carrier. <laughs> with me till the end. Men have slain the, enemy general. the end it is indeed. Right, we've done a pretty good job of running the enemy down. 82 though, that is not good enough. Crap, there's a lot of running down to be done. Oh, well, there's still a ballista crew. Which I guess the cell swords can go take care of. Ecthelion, I'd love to send him after all of this. But I don't... Yeah, he's not getting there in time. Nowhere close. I hope... Hmm, they might be fat. 110. 110, yeah, no, we're not catching them. And Ecthelion's not that fast, because, you know, heavy cavalry makes sense. Alright, I guess we'll have to hope that he won't pull back. Otherwise, I will just attack the settlement, but I need to rebuild my my rams. Alright, Avalyn. Okay. I had to invoke Avalyn's name there to make sure that my cap didn't die charging a ballistic. 
It happened once, and that is more than enough. Right. At the very least, this army's dead for sure. I think both of them are dead. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that's not a problem. In terms of kill-death ratio, it's not the best, but... Considering we killed, like, a pretty large army, I'd say that's fine, I'd say it's worth it. It's a heroic win, how can I disagree with that? Oh, right, that's a nice ransom value, but... I don't really care. Alright, boys, tonight we celebrate in Baradvin! Hell yeah. Alright. Let's occupy that for now. I think Baradvin can actually become quite a wealthy settlement. And then Ekthalion, he can pull back to Larak. Glorious. I should have put down watchtowers along the way. It's okay. I'll already put down some watchtowers with Myrnil. Myrnil the Mighty. I did get some new naming suggestions. Uh, Austin Guathlo from Patroclus, which means Fortress of the Grey Flood. Uh, and also Ambalor in Guathlo, which means East of the Guathlo by Halbarad. Uh, seeing as Baradvin is a keep, I think Austin Guathlo, Fortress of the Grey Flood, is more befitting. Uh, and then I believe Guathlo has like a, an accent on it like that. No? If not, someone will correct me. I can keep. Ambalar in Guathlo for Londair because it's a city, which, you know, stronghold, keep, makes more sense to me. Ah, oh, my mission expired. I'm an idiot. Uh, that's so dumb because I did the mission. Ah, oh, it's a free military unit I lost out on. Oh, well. It is what it is. Right, let's quickly check that there's no buildings that don't do anything for me because then they can go. Everything does something. Oh, my first proper port, it seems. Yeah, that's very useful for me. If it works, I don't know for sure. I think it does. Yeah, no, that seems good. Also explains why I can barely build anything. I can get an Eregion Chasm though, so that's pretty nice. Uh, but I'll get an artist studio for the culture. Nice. Territory is growing. Uh, well, I still have a little bit of time to record. I'd love to end this episode with also Argon taken, because then my realm is nicely united. That would be very, very cool. Okay, I got two spies. I will send over one. I need to plop them on the boat, and then yeah, so the boat blockade is working. That's very good news. That is really good news. Just want to get some information. See, I see, I see. Alkford. Mm hmm. I'd love to take Alkford. But yeah, once we attack either Londair or Alkford, we need to finish off Enid Wife all the way. How many settlements does Dunland have again? I keep forgetting. Dunland, Dunland, Dunland. Seven. Seven still. That surprises me greatly. It doesn't feel like there's seven settlements all over the place here. So I can easily take both Herod and Dunyard. Then Alkford is a bit of an issue. But we'll see how we deal with that. Um... Okay, well, I think that's a then turn, right? Don't think there's anything else I need to do. More alliances. Not good that the Hiles are getting so many alliances, because, you know... Your orders. It is... Oh, hello, Boromir. Inevitable that we go to as war as with them at some point, but we'll see. Yes. Oh, no, shouldn't go to Pelargid. Pelargid is under siege? Oh, right, because there's a new crossing here. Oh, that really screws over Gondor so badly. Okie do. Uh, I think that's an end turn then, right? Yes. I'm always scared. I'm probably still forgetting things. New naming suggestions are always welcome. Like, I get a lot of really epic naming suggestions, but you can also throw in lame suggestions. Like, Bayrig doesn't need to be called Mighty Stronghold of Elves United. It can just be called Shithole in... I don't know, Elvish? Is that a term for Shithole in Elvish? Probably... Brussels. <laughs> But, you know, same with Dunderak. Those are not magnificent cities, nor will they ever be. You can just call them, you know, random city number 10. Fleet to block Pelargir. Fleet to block Pelargir? You know how far that is? Oh, God. You know what? Fine. This better be a mighty reward. I don't even know if we'll reach it in time. Alright. Snow hits Eregion, and it looks beautiful. Construction report. Oh man, lots of buildings. Austin Ethel got the Hall of Music. Well, we know exactly what we're getting. The Hall of Culture. 
Core will shark got a leather tanner. Uh, I guess I need to get another. I can't ex postpone it any longer. Uh, okay. It also gives a law bonus, so it does make some money. Done the rack. Crane exchange. Good. If I can get more cheap buildings that just provide good benefits, then happily. I guess roads would be very, very good here. Uh, but I think I'll go for a market. I like Bayrick, Master Builder's Hall, Grain Exchange. I will upgrade the roads eventually, but money is becoming a little bit tight. So I'm just getting cheap buildings that throw in money, like a leather tanner, for example. And also, you know, they're, they're helpful buildings. The Legion, Grain Exchange, that's going to be massive. How about if I go for a market? We'll go from 881 to 966. That's pretty good. Yeah, economy, economy, economy. Extra Amanya Riders in Austin Oler is incredibly nice. And I can get extra arches. And I can replace the ones that are under towers. Yes, my lord. Get these riders moving. Last turn for Argon. If I press the end turn now, they will sally out. Elven warriors. Good. Can I get Kiriatan all the way over there? No, I can't. Okay, good to know. <laughs> See, I'm almost considering just getting peace now with Enadwaith. I don't need this territory for now. I happily settle for all of Dunland, this big chunk. I've got 14 regions already. That's not bad, you know. Alright, but well, let's move these troops over. And let's wait maybe one more turn. What if I swap out like these busted Lindargards and the Manyar Sword Bars and replace the Cell Swords? That works. This is a very respectable army. I could march out and take Trunian down in the next turn. And then I can split up and take either Herod and, uh, well, both. Not either, both. Austin Guath, though. Let's get some watchtowers. Public order is going to be annoying. I'll get more watchtowers, don't worry. Uh, I think I'll plop some troops in a fort. Save the economy, you know. Oh, Anadwyth is upset that I take a fort, mate. You really... Oh, God. These guys, I swear. Right, let's swap their spots, because I need more military information. Factioner, Huntmaster Kathalan. Who's in Daniard? Faction leader. Hmm. Could I regicide Dunland? Is that possible? I don't know if their family tree is Teutonic or not. If I if they're Teutonic and I kill both the faction leader and faction heir in the same turn, then boom. No, that's wait, that's if they're not Teutonic. If they're based on a family tree. Gosh, it's complicated. But that could be a valid option. That would solve a lot of problems, even if it's a little bit lame. But you know. I have no qualms playing Liam. Whatever brings in money and troops. Alright, get these guys moving. Can I move them from fort to fort? Yes, I can. Perfect. A network of forts. Alright, I think we'll press the enter now. Finish off at the battle at Argon. This video is probably already going to be too long. Um, but that would be perfect place to round off the episode. Don't want to make it too long, of course, because... If I make this one too long, then why would you like the video? If I want to do a poll to make an extra long video. You already got the extra long video at that point. You're just going to be like, screw you, Izzy. You've already given me what I wanted. Oh, but how did you get through the blockade? I thought it was impervious. Hmm. I'm baffled a little bit. It seems that is some room for improvement. It worked for a little bit. Also, that Dundon army disappeared. <laughs> Ah, good. Good, 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 good. This is going to be a tough fight because they actually have a lot of troops, but kill the general first, and then the ruffians. Their morale is so bad. Like, it's literally poor, poor. It can't be worse. That there shouldn't be too much trouble. So the Amanya riders have a very clear goal. Take down the ballista, take down the general. Be home before supper, and unite the realm. Alright. Drop that thunk a thunk. Look at this place. Jeez, it's like a Dorian fort, mate. That's actually quite impressive. Hot diggity dog, this place is amazing. 
Okay, Tome and Travel's in the front. Cell swords are going to be quite crucial. Alright, set up. Get ready to show these pricks a lesson. Why did we build rams there exactly? Like, Sounds like a pretty bad spot if we wanted to ram them down. Alright. That's a very nice settlement. It's funny because how often do you fight at Alkfoot? It's one of those settlements... Or Argon, sorry. How, it's one of those settlements that you take and then you never really ever fight in again. Like, It's really not a contested area. It's not like, gosh, that's Giliath or something like that, you know? Where you fight so many battles. This is just one of those places you fight once and that's that. Be quick. Privateers haven't joined yet? Oh. Oh, the captain's a ballista. Oh, okay. That's a little bit annoying because I really want to kill the captain, but I guess I can get them to rout even without killing the captain first, per se. Privateer axemen will be a pain, though. So if I can shoot them, that'd be preferable. Uh, yeah, I really wish the ballista crew to march out, but it seems they're bugged out. Which is terribly annoying because does that mean I can't win this fight? I can't kill them if the gate's closed. They sallied out, but if they bug out like that... If that's the case, then I will end the battle and just... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do then. The thing is, they need to win this siege battle because I'm starving them out. So if I chill one more turn, then that's that, right? Okay. Fine, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. It's not going to be good for the kill-death, but... I guess it is a pleasant viewing experience. I'm surprised it didn't break yet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, there goes my surprise. Are you still not coming out? Oh, God. Creative Assembly. Just make Medieval 3. Make it like Medieval 2, but have competent AI. That's literally all we ask. You can make so much money. Maybe with these guys going home and coming back, they'll, I don't know, fix the gate somehow being buggered or broken. We're always going to take a bit of a beating here. It is to be expected. Maybe I can actually follow them and get in through the gate. But I'd been worried about the towers. Those towers could be a problem. The battle is very much in our favor. Yeah, those towers are firing now. Oh, God. I hate that towers do that when it's a Sally out fight. Like, it's so dumb. Yeah, that gate's not going anywhere. I should have activated the battle timer. Okay. I'll let them Sally out, I guess. Gods. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if this doesn't work out, then I guess I'll just auto win it. I'll reload the city. Because I don't think the Ballistic Crew are ever going to sally out. So I'd have to try and sneak in the settlement with my troop. But that's going to cost me so many. M oh, screw it. I need to try that. Alright. Try to catch them with the gate open. I need to be able to capture the gate. It's ridiculously hard to pull off, especially because they got towers raining hell down on me. Okay, the gate's open, but there's too many men holding it. My Amanya riders will die. If we continue like this, we okay, will now. Now, 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 now. Get in, get in, get in. Pull through, pull through. Okay, we're in. Now I need to run around, ring around the Rosie. Without them chasing me, cell swords, run in. And if need be, I need to recapture the gate. All this finicky business because of poopy AI. Oh crap. Oh, they're routing. Catch them so we don't have to fight them. Oh, now the ballista crew works. Now you work, you absolute donuts. Come in here. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much, ballista crew. Alright, I can take the gate, right? Oh, there's so many guys dying because of this BS. <laughs> okay. 
Do I not hold the gate? Get in there. That's what I thought. Come on. Now go for the town square. End this. This shouldn't have been this painful, but uh, it's just the AI for you sometimes. Yeah, pull back my Amanya because they're dying in large numbers. They're fighting under the towers. Even a single ruffian can trigger a lot of towers. Okay, that's that. Right? Yes! Ah. Really bad result for the kill death ratio, but I don't care. Worth it. They did get a lot of experience, and I guess I'll just send them home for retraining. And now, our realm is united. Perfect. Alright. Tell public order not be a problem? It might be. Alright, yeah, nice. I welcome you. That's Giliath's under attack. But look at that! Look at that! Look! Our realm nicely united. Are you gonna... Okay. Don't worry about it, Izzy. You've not enough for this episode. So dude is under siege, which is annoying. I really want to have another go at it, which is... Literally the same army I fought a million times before. So I guess I'll already queue something up, otherwise I'll forget. Hmm. What do I want here? Growth, I suppose. So farms would be good. And then in Austin Guathlo, an artist studio. Well, we need to wait a bit for the culture, but I guess some um, extra law bonus wouldn't be bad. I'll get the chasm later on, but I need to get the culture up first. So, well, that's going to be all for this episode. Argons, yeah, they're not happy. Go figure. I love, I, I look, they look happy, and then the game's like, okay, you occupy, and now they're not happy. Just perfect. But the culture will improve, and, you know, it'll be fine. I can give them a fighting bonus. I guess I can swap out governorship. I can lower that to low. Open these guys for some public order, 70%, and then these guys, Tal Fagoron, can not only plop down watchtowers, but also take command of Argond, and then I'll swap around some troops. Um, I get these guys to go chill in Karas Nernalit. Right, okay, I need to round it off here, because I think this episode already way too long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had a lot of fun with it. Uh, moving troops around, taking some settlements, Austin Guathlo, Argond is also ours. Um, our land is now united, which is really, really pleasant. So I guess we will be moving our capital as well. Um, we'll do that in the next episode, although I will forget, so let's do it right now. Might also help with public order problems. There we have it. Just making sure... Yeah, everything's good. So, yeah, lots of exciting things to look forward to. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably do a lot more fighting with Donland, who we have been forgetting about a little bit. Mostly focused on Enidwyth. But that will be probably taking both Herod and Dunyard. We're rounding off this episode with 15 regions. Remember, we need 35 to trigger the Kinsling, but we need to be after turn 100 anyway. And we're at turn 43, so I, th I think we're well on track. Uh, to not really be missing out on too much stuff there. We will keep expanding pretty much non-stop. So again, if you want to see an extra long video, then don't forget to like this video. Depending on how many likes, we'll do a longer, if even longer, longer episode. So with all that said, I'm going to go out for a run, and I hope you guys will have a pleasant rest of your day. Bye-bye, guys.